Well, after Taylor Swift dropped Spotify, a free music streaming site, Google comes out with a similar service. At tonightsdaily.com, a look at this new subscription service to Music Mix. Listen up, Google is remixing the music on its YouTube video site with the unveiling of its long-awaited music subscription service. It's called Music Key, and you can bet it's going to pose quite the challenge to Spotify, Beats Music, and other radio-only unlimited music services where people tend to flock to check out songs at no cost. Music Key provides ad-free, offline play, background listening music, and it's all for 10 bucks. The launch had been delayed while Google wrangled over licensing terms with record labels. However, the world's three largest music labels, Universal, Sony, and Warner, have all reached deals with YouTube. And we're learning hundreds of indies are on board too. Android devices, they're going to be the first to be able to save clips, followed by Apple's phones and tablets, but it's not going to extend to PCs yet. The mobile devices will also be able to continue playing music in the background while they switch to other programs. Now, in addition to playing album tracks, Music Key offers downloads of concert recordings, remixes, unreleased rarities, and cover versions. If you're not willing to pay for all of this, you can still access a new music homepage on YouTube's apps and web service, which makes it easier to find and play albums, puts together a playlist of all an artist's available songs, and highlights trending songs, all based on your previous activity. Okay, so this is a beta service right now, okay? If you're interested in trying it out, you can get an invitation from YouTube. You can try it out for six months for free, but you have to request that invitation. And the only way you're going to find how to do that is if you go to our website, foxntv.com, and look under the Only on Fox 10 section. Click on daily.com, and you'll find the link on how you can request uh, that service from YouTube. So on Twitter, a lot of people are asking if they're going to be willing to pay for YouTube content, especially when you've got other services out there where it's free. Tweet me your answer. I'm curious to what you think about that. You can find me on Twitter at Lenny Slagon.